I keep wondering where to start, and I think I gotta just start. My name is Jeremy. I like Twizzlers, and I appear to be in a perpetual existential crisis. Part of my issue in trying to decide where to begin with these videos was that I wanted to be sure of what my motivation was to begin them to begin to begin with, to begin them to begin with. So taking on something like faith deconstruction, that's a pretty personal thing and a pretty vulnerable thing, but I wanted to be sure that before I started talking about this subject, that I wasn't just going to come at it from a reactionary place. I think a common sentiment that you're going to hear from a lot of people who have been through this process or in the midst of this process is that there's been woundedness, real trauma, bitterness, resentment. I think it's important to process those things, but that's not what I want to show up publicly to share. I don't want it to just be a commiseration thing, and I certainly don't want it to be a pity party. From my vantage point, I just want to live a life, live a good life, you know. I want that for those of you who are watching this as well. So there were a couple of things that I knew I wanted to emphasize. One was just creating something that would help others who feel like they're in a kind of a nowhere place, kind of a middle ground where they, they don't quite feel like they fit in anywhere. Like maybe they almost self ostracized from a group that they used to identify with and now they're not sure where they land or they're afraid to say what they, what their current thoughts and beliefs have become because they're pretty sure they're gonna be kicked out of whatever group they had identified with up until that point. Awfully lonely place to find yourself. And that's part of where I'm coming from too and part of where it's taken me quite some time to, to be uh, willing or interested in uh, hitting that upload button. The other thing is Developing really a purpose statement. Because if I'm going to put things out for people to watch, I want them to know what to expect up front. Um, what to expect it to be and what to expect it not to be. So a little bit about myself. I grew up in fundamentalist Christianity. Um, church kid all throughout childhood, went to a Christian college, went on to a school of ministry for a few years. Um, I guess the poster child in a lot of ways. And I never expected to become practically agnostic in my 30s and to find myself wondering, hmm, has any of this been real? And how would I know if it was? Those are uncomfortable questions to uh, run into, especially after uh, decades of it being the your, your whole world, it being the only life you knew. If, if, if it's the only life you knew, how, how can you, in a, in a really quality way, how can you really compare it to, against anything else? So, in some respects, it's been bewildering. But the other thing about where it puts me now uh, that I think is important to share to anybody who wants to come along with for the ride is um, this series of videos uh, is going to become whatever it becomes. This is not a pre-planned <laughs> sequence of lessons. Um, and the end game is not to convince you of, uh, 
giving up a faith system or uh, taking on a faith system. Uh, the point is to stop pressing down doubts and ask the questions that need to be asked. Because the questions never really went away, did they? Just because we pressed them down, right? I think there have been some, and people are different. I think there have been some who have been perfectly content to say, this is what I was born into. This is what my family has always believed. I don't see a problem with it. This is what I'm going to live by. I'm not here to criticize that. I just know that I can't do that myself. That that's not enough for me. Um, and I, I can't uh, casually say that I'm part of something that I, that I can't really uh, give my heart to. So if you want to be along for the ride, that is kind of the flavor of what we're going to be going for. My interest is to, um, I suppose I could say, draw lines in the sand where it comes to uh, defining things. What do we mean when we talk about fill in the blank? Um, where have there been double standards? Um, and in instances where the church has failed, does that mean the entire institution is a lost cause or does it just mean there have been isolated incidents? I think it's important not to draw universal conclusions from isolated instances, even if sometimes an entire subculture seems to be infected um, by what start, out, what start out as isolated instances and then become patterns. Certainly, there are going to be some people who walk away never to return. Um, Another thing that I'll mention is just my personality makeup. The Myers-Briggs, I'm an INFJ. That means uh, the, the sweeping generalization of what that means is that I am a um, perspective-taking individual and I'm also one who values harmony. So of course, doing something like this is me kind of willfully putting myself in harm's way, but it's also me hoping that um, people will feel validated in um, their own sometimes marginalized experience. On uh, the Enneagram, I'm a five wing four. This has been called the iconoclast, uh, which doesn't always have the uh, most shining um, connotation to it. That can sound like the antagonist capital A, uh, when it comes to religious things. So I would like to be clear that while I do identify with the personality description of the iconoclast, there's some things that it means and some things that it does not mean for me. So I am not here to antagonize any particular belief system. I think it would be the most useful to think of this in terms of uh, waking up in the middle of the night and realizing your uh, apartment building is on fire. There's going to be a lot that you discard, but there's going to, if you can, there's going to be a couple things or a few things um, that you keep, that you take with you when you... Uh, run out of the building. And so when it comes to fitting that uh, iconoclast type, some of that does include, at least on an individual basis, discarding traditions. Um, 
But it always goes, for me, it always goes through the filter of evaluating, you know, what's the raw essence of this? If there's something worth keeping, let's make sure we know what it is and let's, let's keep what's worth keeping. But ultimately, let's be honest about it. Let's be honest with the rest. Because I, you know, life is short, guys. I'm not here to um, swallow whatever the first belief system was that I was introduced to. If it ends up being completely false, I'd rather cut my losses and not waste my time. If it ends up being true, well, the truth should prove itself. I believe that. So if you're on board, come along with the ride. I'm sure it'll be fun.